What do the founding fathers of quantum mechanics have in common? Why, they're all men, of course. But not Greta Hermann, a mathematician, anti-Nazi activist, and the most important philosopher of quantum physics you've never heard of. Hermann was born in 1901 in the German city of Bremen. By the age of 24, she'd earned her doctorate under renowned mathematician Emmy Noether. At the time, the quantum revolution was in full swing, with the discovery of a subatomic world that defied the laws of classical physics. One of the weirdest things about quantum systems is that their underlying nature seems to depend on how you measure them. It's like rolling a pair of dice and placing each one under a cup, only to find the numbers change depending on which cup you lift up first. The rub is that this doesn't just apply to tiny bits of matter. In theory, it holds for galaxies, cats and humans too. Consider how bits of matter and light can behave as both particles and waves. When photons or electrons are fired, one at a time, at a screen with two gaps in it, a diffraction pattern emerges. Ripples appear, as if waves are rolling through the two slits. Each particle behaves as if it knows it belongs to some larger swell and hits the wall in places it couldn't reach if it was following a classical trajectory. But if we try inserting a detector to force the experiment to reveal which gap the particle chooses each time, then there's no diffraction, just a cluster of strikes on the wall, as if the particles are shooting through one or the other slit like billiard balls. What's going on? The answer, Herman said, is what she called the splitting of truth. Physical systems aren't totally capricious, but their nature depends on the context, and quantum mechanics makes this feature of the world abundantly clear. So just when is an electron a particle, and when is it a wave? Herman would say the truth depends on the context of the observation. When a detector is present, it changes the slice of truth that can be seen. There's no mystery about the particle knowing which aspect to display, because it's not a separate entity distinct from its context. Instead, it forms part of an experimental whole, along with the measuring apparatus itself. In quantum mechanics, Herman said, we can see a truth, but we can never see the whole truth. Truth is always revealed via our tools of observation. And if all physical things are essentially quantum mechanical, then this splitting of truth applies to the world at large. For Hermann, the fragmented nature of truth went far beyond physics to the realm of politics, art and ethics. What's more, she was forced to live this split. In 1934, she became a political refugee on the run from Hitler, leaving a life of research for one of activism and social justice. After the war, Hermann returned to Germany, though she never went back to professional physics. Instead, she devoted herself to educational reform and ethics, but she never forgot her earlier discovery. Despite the contradictions between a life of the mind and a life of action, Greta Hermann embraced them both as equally valid paths to truth.